Hello, Jess Too Good here, and I just to built the Detectives Office Lego Modular, and this is the quickest I built one. I think it only took me about like three to four hours total over a span of two nights. I had it for a while on build, so I, I just kind of wanted to get it done with, and there's three levels, so let's check out the first level. First off, I gotta appreciate that this is on a 32 by 32 brown base plate. That's freaking awesome because getting brown base plates is so rare and getting a 32 by 32 one is so rare as well. It's probably a lot on e or BrickLink or eBay if you just buy that alone besides the set. Now the first floor right here is the pool room and this looks awesome. They have a pool table that's thankfully different from the one the Ghostbusters HQ. I was kind of afraid it would be the same. Uh, they also have this little darts board back here. This fan, which I don't know, I'm not really a fan of the fan. I think it looks a little bit weird, but uh, I mean, I, they've never really done a Lego fan before, like a ceiling fan like this position, so I, I, I don't blame them, and they even have some like extra pool stuff. What I love about this set is the storytelling, though, and that is they have this whole like prohibition going on where you gotta like sneak the sweets, so they have little compartments where you could like transport little sweets inside there. You can see that kind of just opens, and underneath here, around here there's like a barrel of just sweets and I love that when they put storytelling in, in Lego city sets or, or Lego creator sets like this it's just really um, I, I think it's just such an, a great added touch and also they have this barbershop right here which admittedly is a little bit cramped uh, that's why they let you move this up which I like so now it's a little bit less cramped and you could play around in there I wish they had more than just one seat but again the space they give is very small and that could be a complaint with this where this bottom half or, or this back half right here is not used much. I think maybe the building should have been a little bit thicker in terms of how, or, or, or deeper, I guess would be the better way to put it because they're not using a lot of space here and it makes places like this place and this place be a little bit cramped. So for the second floor, you could see some detailing on the outside. For example, this pool sign right here is such a freaking cool build. And what they do is they use very basic pieces you can see just these tiles and these uh, circular tiles right there with a hole in the middle. And they, they use it in such a way that it illustrates a sign that says pool on it. And it looks like they're identical builds, but to get them together, you have to build them slightly differently and then like stick them together. And I love that build so much. Another build I love is owls right here, how it says owls. How they build that is so cool where they use like a pole piece and some tile pieces sideways and some plate pieces sideways. And it was like, I don't know, blew my mind. I, I love how that was built. Right here, they actually have a ladder, which you could access from the first floor, but you're gonna have to have a little bit of a lift. And so you can make your kind of a police uh, arrests that way. And you could hold it. There you go, pushing it just in place right there. Now for the second floor, we have this detective's office itself, which is quite a small build for the name of the set. But uh, you could see that they have these newspapers, a nice exclusive wanted poster, which is hilarious where it says, uh, or it shows this guy right here. And it's just a basic minifigure, so it's gonna be hard to discern which one he is. And there's a fan right here, the second fan of the set, but this one's not a ceiling fan. Then we even have like a little uh, coat rack here, uh, which holds the hat, and I think that's such a cool build. Over here is just this little apartment, uh, which you can see as a, or, or it could be the office hallway or whatever and it has a plant and then a bathroom which the bathroom is a little bit cramped but awesome I like how they put the door sideways like that they have a toilet and even a little sink and one thing and my friend pointed this out is just another reason why they should have made this a little bit deeper is they could have made more secure or made this a little bit more secure but look at this it's so easy to do that because they literally just have one strip of these little pieces right here. And when you do that, none of them are like secured. Like you know how they alternate between how they're built. So none of them are secured and it, you can just kind of pop it out like that. And that's just another reason why I wish they would have made this a little bit more deeper because then they could have secured it a bit more. And final floor right here. You can see that there's this little apartment. Um, there's a cooking area and even a little cabinet. We have a kitten, some cookies, I guess a kitten bowl. Very basic. And then we have this top area, which has a barrel, I like how they built the barrel and even a little skylight window, I believe it's called. 
And you can see that you could travel from the second floor if you put the ladder back in its position all the way up to the top floor, which is cool. Um, of course, they have the staircase if you want to just use the staircase. So I like how there's multiple ways to get up there. So yeah, overall, uh, one complaint I do have, which I haven't touched on, is the amount of minifigures. I feel like they should include more minifigures with this set because as it stands, you can see I have two detectives in there, a barber and a client, and then the detective up there. And then you got this girl. Um, I just feel like maybe they should have had more regular civilians, um, but it's not a huge complaint. It's just for like the $160 price. I like when they're just bustling with people, you know? Um, and then other than that, uh, like I said, I've touched on this a few times before, they should have used this back area, even though like this back entrance is cool and this little pathway is cool, should have just push it up a bit so that's like right at the edge and we could have had a little bit more of a thicker build just so that we could have more content inside, but not too big of complaints. And this is still currently now one of my favorite sets of all time. So we'll have to see if I ever update that list. So either way, that's it for this Just Two Built. I hope you guys got a quick rundown and I will see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.